Scientists have been delighted by the chance discovery of a rare deep sea creature lurking at the bottom of the South Atlantic. A young colossal squid was observed during a live stream of a diving expedition. Dr Kat Bolstad is an Associate Professor of Environmental Science at the Auckland University of Technology and she joins me now. Dr Kat, welcome. Now tell us about this colossal squid. What are some of its characteristics? I presume it's quite large. Uh, it, one would think that. Um, it's quite amusing to think that we might have a, a small colossal squid, but in fact, that is what we have. So instead of seeing uh, the huge sort of gigantic um, animal of our imaginations as our first view, instead we get this really beautiful imagery of quite a young one. Uh, and as you can see, it looks very little like the sort of stuff of Kraken legends. So the colossal squid belongs to a family we call the glass squids, and it's quite clear why that is. If you look at the footage, it looks like a beautiful little glass sculpture hovering in the water column. So uh, on this particular expedition, they were looking for new species and new habitats down around the South Sandwich Islands. Uh, and they just happened to come across this young colossal squid at about 600 meters as they were descending down to the sea floor. And recognizing what a beautiful animal it was, they stopped and filmed it for a few minutes, which is how we've gotten what we now know to be the first confirmed footage of this species at home in the deep sea. So just how remarkable is this discovery? Well, we've known about the colossal squid for 100 years, and in that time, it has never been filmed alive that we've been able to confirm at home in its natural environment. We have some footage of adults at the surface who have come up to the surface following toothfish hooked on long lines, which they're known to opportunistically uh, take a bite out of. Uh, but those adults are often either not in great shape or they're at the surface very briefly and then they disappear back down into the depths. And that's certainly not their natural habitat. So this is really our first glimpse of one doing what we would call even remotely natural behaviors and our first chance to see one uh, alive and just doing its thing in the deep sea where it belongs. So why has it been so hard to spot them in the past? Well, one of the most striking things about these animals is their very large eyes. And uh, at full grown size, colossal squid are really only hunted by sperm whales and sleeper sharks. Uh, and so they're using those large eyes to watch out for those large, powerful predators in the deep sea. And unfortunately, a lot of the gear that we try to use to observe things in the deep sea requires bright lights so that we can film. Uh, it makes a lot of noise and it's probably terrifying to these animals. So our best efforts to go and see them actually probably scare them away most of the time because they will know we are there long before we know that they are there. So what can we learn about this species now that we've been able to witness it in its natural habitat? Well, most of the time when we see these animals, you know, they're a, a crumpled specimen that's been brought to the surface, probably has come up in a net, is missing a bunch of its skin. There are many things about that that we just can't draw any conclusions about. We don't know how it behaves. We don't know its position in the water column. In the case of the colossal squid, we know that the adults look very little like other young glass squid or other smaller glass squid. But at this life stage, the similarity is really striking. So we can confirm that it's a fairly typical little glass squid in its early life stages uh, and that it lives probably at shallower depths when it's young than it does later. It probably, um, as it grows, descends into the deep sea and maybe lives a couple of kilometers down. So this is a chance to verify a couple of things by, by seeing it where it belongs and knowing it was seen at that time, at that depth, in that location. Now, this species was discovered by chance. Does this provide hope that there may be many more lurking out in the deep ocean? There are certainly plenty of species in the deep sea that we haven't seen before. We have known about this species for a long time, but we just haven't had the opportunity to observe it alive. Um, and the, the same expedition or the same set of expeditions actually has gathered the first world first footage of a number of other deep sea species as well. That's fascinating. Dr. Kat Bolstead, an Associate Professor at the Environmental Science at Auckland University. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.